Revising organic chemistry can be really tough. Without knowing all your functional groups, reagents and conditions, it can even be difficult to know where you're going wrong each time. Jumping straight into the exam questions, like this one which is a flowchart style question from an OCRA paper, can often leave you feeling more confused than when you started out with, as you can't appreciate what's happened to the small sections of the molecule in each phase, even when you look it up in the mark scheme. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a method for revising organic chemistry which I think works very well and was originally taught to me by one of my organic chemistry professors at University College London. Before I get started, I would just like to give you a quick and polite request to like this video and subscribe to my channel as it lets YouTube know I'm still here. So you're going to want to start off with a short alkene. You can see here that I'm using propene, but you could also use something like butuanine. In later repeats of this process, you can upscale to branch structures or even alicyclics. I would personally recommend using skeletal formula, as it's more efficient, but displayed or structural is fine as well, just definitely not molecular. Out of your starting molecule, you're going to draw an arrow to a new molecule where the functional group has changed, but the basis of the chain is kept the same. You should also accurately name your new molecule as you go. Then, like a flowchart, you need to provide any details of reagents, conditions, anything like that necessary to perform all of these functional group changes across the arrow. Don't worry about repeating molecules on your sheet as some reactions can be reversed with different reagents. Now feel free to pour your heart out onto the page here, including everything from mechanism information to isomerism, where appropriate of course. I would also highly recommend and advise using a textbook or your class notes for these early stages as guessing isn't really learning. Make sure you look stuff up if you're unsure, there's no shame in this at any stage. You can even see for this one that I'm doing now, that I'm including the nucleophilic substitution mechanism. If you're going to put mechanisms onto yours, which I highly recommend you do, as it's always good practice for bond connectivity and positioning your curly arrows, then I recommend you leave yourself a lot of space while you're completing your diagram. As part of your A-level in chemistry relating to module one, if you're following like us, the OCRA specification, some reactions like oxidations require you to also be aware of specific apparatus that is required to conduct the practical procedure. Remember that you need to be efficient in drawing these in your exam. I suppose the icing on the cake for these diagrams once you're getting near the end of them is for you to add in spectroscopy information. Infrared spectroscopy should always be done using your data sheet and nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy will require you to leave a lot of space when constructing your diagram. Your finished product will be a robust map of all the different functional group changes that are possible. Once you think you've finished, I would recommend making a record of each time you suggest a certain reaction on the page and then see if there are some reactions you are using less than others. This will help you stay self-aware whilst you're revising. You also need a really detailed summary sheet that you can refer to quickly like this one and don't forget these are often provided by your exam board. OCR do a brilliant one of these. And that's it. I'd say after completing about three or four of these that you're ready to have a go at the exam questions. You'll find you're much better at spotting what functional group changes are taking place both in the question and in the mark scheme when you go back through it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video so that YouTube know I'm still here. Until next time however, happy revising.